Thank you for being a part of this special community, as we all learn to bring more compassion and peace for ourselves and to the world. Our hope is that you will find great value in the material that we've put together for you, to deepen your practice even more. Please visit MeditationLifeSkills.com Please understand that belief is the cornerstone of your life. If you believe, you will achieve. If you don't believe, it's going to be a much harder road for you. This may not necessarily mean you would fail, but you're going to have a harder time. You have to have your mind in the right place before you go on this journey of overcoming your anxiety. Otherwise, your mindset will sabotage you, undermine you, and constantly get in the way. Before you know it, because of your mindset, you just run out of steam. What's so important about your mindset anyway? Your mindset dictates your life. Mindset equals selective perception, selective analysis, selective response, selective action, which triggers selective reality. How does mindset impact your reality? Believe it or not, your mindset helps you edit your reality. I know that's kind of a strong word because when you edit something, you change its form. You change its direction. Eventually, you change its quality. We are all editors of our own personal realities. Just because most of us don't step up to this responsibility and take full ownership of it, it doesn't make this fact go away. All of us have this capability. This is how it works. You have a mindset. Believe it or not, you have chosen it at some point in time. It may not seem like it, but that's the way it is. It's chosen. You're not going to hang on to your mindset if you didn't choose it. This mindset is not neutral. When you take in all these objective stimuli from the rest of the world, you process them through your mindset and you give them meaning. This is called analysis. It may seem natural. It may seem like this is the objective reality, but don't kid yourself. This is subjective because two people with two different mindsets can look at the same exact set of facts and walk away with two totally different conclusions. That's the power of mindset. Your childhood, your upbringing, how people treated you, any kind of abuse you suffered, what kind of beliefs you have, all of these impact your mindset, and it's yours. You process reality through the lens of your mindset, and guess what happens? That's right. Your emotional state is affected. This then leads to you responding to whatever is happening in a certain way. When you respond, this is where the world kicks in. How come? Well, when you take an action, there are consequences. For every action, there is a reaction. Reality works that way. This is why when you adopt a certain mindset, whether you're conscious about it or not, you eventually end up with a certain reality. And it's all a choice. Until and unless you take full ownership of this, then you will continue to be the person who keeps asking, what happened, instead of the person who makes things happen. Your life is the product of your mindset. You have to take responsibility of your life. The fact that you are under a tremendous amount of anxiety and you're feeling guilty over certain things or you feel ashamed of certain things is because, ultimately, of your choices. Now, please understand, I'm not blaming the victim here. Maybe somebody did sexually abuse you. Maybe you were the victim of a crime. Maybe other people had it in for you and did you harm. But that's not the point. The point is, how you responded to those events is your responsibility because the same traumatic thing can happen to two totally different people and they can have two totally different responses. I know this is a simplification, but this is the truth. Your mindset plays a big role in how you perceive the world's stimuli. Your mindset plays a role in how you perceive and accept reality. You have to take ownership of this. You have to boldly proclaim, with no ambiguity and with full honesty and sincerity, that you chose your life. Stop blaming others. When you blame others, you hand them power and responsibility over your life. When you blame other people for whatever has gone wrong in your life, or worse yet, your personal failings, you are essentially giving them control over your life. Think of it this way. If your father abandoning you as a child or your mother abusing you when you were little caused all your problems, who ultimately can fix them? This is not rocket science. This should be pretty straightforward. Let's put it this way. If you walked into a store and you broke something, who can make amends? Who can put things back together? Here's a hint. It's not the shopkeeper. Do you see how this works? Since other people that you continue to blame to this day broke your life, 
then it logically follows that they are the only ones that can fix your life. They broke it in the first place so they can fix it. Here's the problem. Those people are already living their lives or they're dead. They're gone. However you want to slice and dice it, they're out of your life. They've moved on. Continuing to wait for them to make a cameo appearance back in your life to put things together is simply just setting yourself up for failure. This is what happens when you blame other people. You're constantly saying, I'm not responsible because this person did that at that time or this situation happened to me. Well, this is the most powerless thing you can ever do to yourself because you are putting the solution to whatever is wrong with your life in the hands of people or situations that you cannot control. It's bad enough trying to change yourself. Can you imagine trying to change other people? Can you imagine trying to talk them into coming back into your life and repairing your life? Fat chance. They've moved on. They've changed. You have to take responsibility. You have to take ownership. You have to take the initiative. I know it hurts because it's so unfair. But guess what? Life is unfair. You have to make that step. You have to take ownership of your life by saying, it may not be my fault that this happened, but it is my responsibility to myself that I accept how I process this information. In other words, you stop blaming others and you take full ownership and responsibility over what's going on with your life. To deepen your practice even more, please visit meditationlifeskills.com.